away. Tonight, everything else will fade away. We are, we are, we are, we are. We are starting a chapter called Revelation of the Word. And underneath, we call it the fatherhood. The fatherhood. Because there are some things, if you don't get it properly, it can beat around the bush. And then we found out that no one here on earth was more anointed than Jesus. Is there anyone more gifted than Jesus? Is there anyone more anointed than Jesus? Is there anyone here more powerful than Jesus? Is there anyone more, more intelligent, more handsome than Jesus? Is there anyone here can do better than Jesus? Nobody, nobody on earth, nobody, no superman can do better than Jesus. Even though he's all powerful, he still pray. Mm. Now, if Jesus can pray, uh, I mean, if Jesus could pray, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? How can Jesus pray and you don't pray? How? Tell me. How? How? The creator of your universe, he came here not as God, he came as a man. And for him to be able to connect to his father, he prays. He prays all the time. And then we became a born again and we became in that place as he is. So are we. And we don't pray. So we Jesus are we serving. Prayer is not for request. Prayer is not because you feel good. Prayer is necessity. It's life. Sila. Whether you feel it or you don't, you don't need to feel it. That is the way we are wired. If you are not a born again, you're going to be functioning in flesh. And they're going to be moved by unbelievers that maybe they have things more than you. You're comparing yourself with the men that are going to hell. Because they have a nice car, a nice house, a nice money. And then he said, I'm not blessed. So what is blessing to you? Blessing is that a house? Is that a car? Is that money? Jesus, so what you profit a man for you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Ask Jesus what is blessing. You are, you, are, you, are, you are comparing yourself to a man that is losing their soul. And Jesus is telling you what profit a man has for you to gain everything and lose your soul. So what is blessing? So now, Jesus tried to show us what blessing is. Now he came here. He, he finished his destiny. The first Adam could not finish his destiny because he didn't know how to pray. He functioned in flesh. The second Adam and the last Adam, his name is Jesus Christ. He finished because he knows one principle. Hello? I said, hello? So, the disciples have watched him. The disciples of John the Baptist have watched him so much. They have watched Jesus get the result. Now look, 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 ten, look, 9, 29, please. Look, look, turn about look. Look on the screen. Don't look at your neighbor. Look on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, while, while he was praying. Why he was praying. This is Jesus. Why he was praying. His face changed. Zekute prahasata. Makata Why are we going to begin to pray? Tell your neighbor, why are we going to begin to pray? Your face will change tonight. If you're a black man, you became a white man. If you're a white man, you became a black man. Oh, sorry. I don't mean that. You go back home, your wife will not recognize. Is that what he means? Why he was praying, his face changed. Why he was praying, his face changed. So your face can change when you pray. Wow. My financial, my financial face. My business, my health, my marriage. In other words, something can change when we pray. Not if, why he was praying. Why you have continued to pray. Not when you stop. Why you have continued to pray. His face change. Lift your hands and say, my heavenly father. My heavenly my father. My face has to change tonight. My face has to change tonight. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So now the disciples saw what happened to Jesus. So they saw that Jesus, when he prayed, something happened. When he never, anytime he prayed, something happens. And when they are praying, their face never changed. They said, man, we need face change. 
Sometimes people change their face with makeup. But Jesus doesn't have a makeup. You understand? So they, 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 people change their face with makeup. Sometimes you see people, they are, you know, they are, not here, the other church. You know, some different face sometimes. They have face for the wedding, they have face for the party, they have face for church. But the same face, but different makeups. Not here, you guys are born again. <laughs> some of you have eyeshadow, uh, so, uh, not eyeshadow, blind lipstick on Sunday, uh, red one on, on Wednesday. That's change, but it's not the change we are talking about. We're talking about supernatural change. Are you hearing me? We're talking about supernatural shift. That when you begin to pray, there will be a transformation. Not just financial, not just physical, but your appearance can feel it. When you come out of this place, people know that oh, this man is different. Your face can change when you come out. I'm talking about not just I'm talking about your physical face can change. When oh it's a tagata. This is a place we live. Now the disciples have son, seen this. They have seen it. They watch Jesus. They watch him. They watch him. The disciples we are praying, you know, they watch him. There's, there's something about you. There's something that we are missing here. We want to find out from you. Master, teach us how to preach. Teach us how to, how to prophesy. Teach us how to teach. Teach us how to pray. Because whenever he pray, his face changed. Teach us. Look, look again. Look again. Come on, say tell anybody. Look again. Look Luke again. Chapter 11, verse 2. Look again. Look again, please. Look 11, verse 2. Please help us. Jesus said to them, When you pray, say this. Well, we are talking about revelation, simplicity of the revelation of the word of God that can catapult you to your destiny. Instant. No question asked. Jesus was so simple. It was so simple that uh, the Pharisee men could not understand him. A man came to him, his name was who? Nicodemus. Talk to me. A man came to him, his name, his name was who? Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a man that has been industrialized with scriptures. He got the knowledge of the word of God so much, he gets confused. Jesus said, unless, unless you are born again, you can never see the kingdom of God. They said, how? Do I need to go back to my mother's womb? Jesus said, yes. That's how religion makes you talk <laughs> like kids. The word of God is so simple, but a man that are full of head knowledge could not understood what Jesus mean. A simple message. Born again. He have to go back to his mother's womb. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Jesus said to them, now there, listen. Shh. Shh. Okay, use another translation. Shh. Shh. Use another. No, 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 no. Use another translation. Use. No, 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 no. Use an. Okay. He said to them, when you pray, say, listen, they've been saying stuff. Why did Jesus, if they were saying our father, Jesus will not say, say. Jesus has been watching these people saying, Elohim, Eshadai, all these names of God, which is good. Imagine Chidima wake up in the morning and say, good morning, Apostle of Fire. Apostle of fire, didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's wrong? You see, that's what we do. Elohim is wonderful. Eshada is wonderful. Jehovah Rapha, wonderful. Mighty man of war. He comes as a mighty man of war, he'll kill you. <laughs> it's wonderful. Jesus, he have been saying, but there's something missing here. Because some of us, we didn't have a good relationship with our father. Maybe our father passed away. And some of us didn't even know who your father is. So you are angry, you are mad. So when we talk about fatherhood, you are like, mm. brothers and sisters, when you are born again, you need to renew that mindset. That mindset has to go. This is a different system here. This is a system of God. Whatever he says, he meant it. Are you hearing me, somebody? Say, I hear you, Papa P. Zekatabra, who said it? So when we are in the world, we people can
can abuse us or the some of the father abuse or do so many nonsense stuff. So when we call the word father, you're like, hmm, it's not here. This one a new creation. This one is not like your father. This one is different. You must know how to learn that. You are a born again. Don't use your head. Use the word. And the Bible says, Jesus said to them, when you pray, say this. All this Elohim, all this, those are beautiful. But if you want to know him, say, I mean, they are waiting for big revelation. Okay, let's, let's, okay. Imagine, imagine, you see Jesus, his face begins to change. His body begins to change. He from a white man to a pink man, from the pink man to, I mean, you are watching Jesus changing, right? You are waiting for what kind of revelation he has. That must be something big. Oh my Lord, if I can get what Jesus I can't use my makeup anymore. I just change. And you're waiting for big revelation. Jesus said, when you pray, say, Father, huh? You're like, more is more. It's nothing more. Nothing more. No this. So simple. But if you can know revelation behind fatherhood, your life will change. Because a father, you don't need to beg for him to give you a food. If he's a father, unless he's a father. A, fa a father thinks before you wake up, before he give birth to you, you already plan your school. <sighs> I don't know about your fathers. They already plan your, your school, where you're going to stay, what you're going to do. You don't need to plan for those things. They already know the size of your shoe, the size of your earring. They, they will try, they, some of them, if the day you're born, they peer that ear. Ouch! <laughs> the, 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 the baby never have anything to say. They know what to do with the baby. Father is source. Jesus said, when you know this, your life will change. Because I know him as my father. You never see in the Bible, Jesus called God, God. Or less one place, when he was separated from God. When he, the Bible said he became sin. So when he became sin, sin is separate him from his father. He said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Apart from that, there's no place. Jesus called God, God. He called him Father. This is why the Pharisee were angry with Jesus. You better, you know that. So that demon will become angry with you. So, when you are coming to your father, you are coming to beg. How can you come to your How can they come to Jesus? They might come to my home to beg. To beg what? That's their home. That's their business. That's everything. That's their home. So how can you beg God to bless you? That's your father's house. How? The problem is we don't know who we are in him. So now Jesus starts to say, now the revelation you need to know that the God is your heavenly father. When you know him as your heavenly father, your issue is finished. No, 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 you're not hearing me. Nobody here has a problem. No born again has a problem. All we have is challenge and that challenge is good for we call it for spiritual exercise we call it fitness hall wow. someone say fitness. fitness we need it yeah. so go allow you this challenge this challenge me challenge this challenge this challenge to make us fit and i don't know i, I think maybe follow up maybe you can teach us tonight or whatever <laughs> and the, that's iron for your muscle. Uh, I don't know. For your, for your chest, right? That's one for your neck. That's one for your leg. You don't use for the leg and use it for your leg. Different iron for different muscles. Ah. You don't know that. That's the one they do like this. Oh, you don't go do. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Hello. Don't look at me as if you came from uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Based 
your word you want to work out. Now God allow us. Based in area that we want to work out, He allowed that challenge so that He can do your fitness. Tell your neighbor tonight, do your fitness. We we'll call it spiritual. And then the good thing, and the, listen, 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 listen. The good thing about these people that love fitness, they love it. I haven't seen someone go to fitness and cry. <laughs> Why did they cry? Because they love it. So sometimes they put some more, they put some iron. Even like, I'm the, I do want to kill yourself or what? Thinking my lives. And they love it, they are happy. I haven't seen somebody, unless your wife send you out to go and do fitness and you are crying. <laughs> no, not your wife. It's okay. Fitness, people love it. In fact, they wear nice clothes for that. Sometimes you put, no, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go into details. They wear, they, even they dress up for fitness. Wow. You can show. They don't wear, they don't wear suits for fitness. Anyone that do fitness with suit, that person is a starter. They have a clothes for fitness. You don't wear a suit. You don't wear, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, high heels for fitness. <laughs> that would be your mother in law. <laughs> but that's what we do. We got to pray and we are here for fitness. What the iron will destroy your life. This is the reason why many born again the Lord Bible said, My people perish because of lack of knowledge. My responsibility is tonight is to show you use the what you know to explain what you don't know. And this is the only way you know the gospel. That's why Jesus said, the kingdom of God is like a master seed. Oh, you want master seed start very small and became the biggest tree. So it can start very small and become the biggest tree. So when you have fitness, there's a kind of clothes you wear, there's a kind of dress you wear. You don't wear high heel and ladies that you carry You don't do that. Now we come to church, try to pray. <laughs> come on. So and we, we are blaming God and blaming everything. But the reason one is we like what the world because the miracle need is wrapped up in the world of God and if you don't open the world you can't find your miracle amen, amen. somebody say I'm ready I can't hear you I'm ready no 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 say I am ready I am Who ready is ready for spiritual fitness I am ready come on shout I'm ready for spiritual fitness I'm ready for spiritual fitness based on any area you need it be in your finance Maybe in your health, maybe in your marriage, maybe in your career. We have iron for every challenge. Amen. So Jesus stated to the disciple here, when you pray, say what? Can you put it on, please? Today is Sunday service, we know that. I think the church, <laughs> I, think, I think the people know it today. <laughs> So just put it, don't put Sunday service there. It's on. <laughs> we say, I tell them we are on. Yeah, yeah, we are on. Say, say what? When you pray, say what? Father. Father. Come on, say, lift the hands of Father. Father. I can't hear you. Father. I can't hear you. Father. When you're saying Father, you're saying provider. When you're saying Father, you're saying source. When you're saying Father, you're saying everything. Are you hearing me? The moment you say Father, that means a Father of joy. He's a Father of peace. He's a Father of prosperity. Are you hearing me, somebody? Do you know what we are talking about? We are talking about He's a Father of divine health. He's a Father of everything. He don't need to beg Him. When you go Father, money will show up. Business will show up. Marriage will show up. Career will show up. Is there anyone here that open up your mouth and shout at Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you go further, restoration, brokenness will be restored. If somebody broke your heart, when you go further, restoration will take place. We are talking about fatherhood of God. We are not talking about this. No. When you go further, Father can be anything for you. Jesus said, Don't talk all this nonsense. You're saying, Say what? Father. Simple. But powerful. Apostle of fire. Good morning. Can I, which apostle of fire? If she didn't say, even though what she says is right, I will be I will be upset. What are you talking? Are you okay? But when he said, Daddy, I said, What is that? Come on. Oh, it's that creature. Zakata spider is all over my Yeah. She can say, Apostle of fire, help me. But she said, Daddy, hey, she said, who is that? 
shutting them come out of me. You see another side of Papa P you've never seen before. We bite, we eat it. Wow. We remove our bottle of fire. We feel bad now. We are daddy, daddy style. Hello. I say hello. No, no, I say hello. Hello. No, no, I can't hear you. I say hello. Hello. Tell you, are, you, are you here or what? You see, daddy. Jesus said, don't talk too much. Say, father. When you say, father, healing will take place. Miracle will take place. Because it's your father. He don't need to beg him. He knows you. He gave birth to you. He's your heavenly father. He is your son, your provider, your everything. Don't you know that he made you? Don't you know that he's your daddy? Don't you know that everything in he belongs to him? He is a creator of the universe. He's the one that owns everything. And he's your father. Open up your mouth and shout, Father. Father. I can't hear you. Father. Give up your hand and give him all the glory. Shout it. Shout it in Auckland. Shout it in Melbourne. Shout it in Samoa. Shout it in Christchurch. Come on, Christchurch, open up your mouth. You can do better. Father. I say you can do better, Christchurch. Come on, come Father. on. Come on, respond to the voice of God. Hello, him. All these things complaining. No. When you know him as a father, when you have problem, say, I want to go and talk to my daddy. Now, when you have problem, you become angry with your daddy. Your daddy is not your problem. Your daddy is the one that solves your problem. What is the problem we have? Lack of what? Revelation about the fatherhood of God. So prayer became a place we meet up. Tell them, prayer is a meet up place. Prayer is Look a at your name and say, prayer is a meet up place. Prayer is a meet between up you place. and your heavenly father. Between you and just your heavenly father. Just have a nice father. conversation with him. It's not just for prayer requests. So a time for prayer is a time for joy. When things are not working, when things are not moving, and the time for prayer is a time of meet up. It's a time we honor God. It's a time we love him. Jesus said, when you say, say this what? Father. Father. And then what? Hallowed be your name. What is the hallowed be your name? Means what? Honor. You honor his name. When you know him as a father and begin to have reverence for his name, anytime his name, we're going to learn on Friday, on, on Wednesday. Don't miss empowerment class. Why do we lift our hand? We need to show you so many things about that. When in the name of Jesus call, you don't need to. You just worship him. The Bible says when you honor him, the kingdom will show up. The kingdom means the things you are believing, the things you are crying, the things you are longing for, the things you are believing and believing and believing. He said, when you give reverence to him, he said, the kingdom will come. The kingdom will come. And when you test and see, you begin to do the will of God. <laughs> ah, I sing praise. He said, when you go further, now that's the solution is here. Now have reverence for him, honor him. And when you begin to honor this father that he called it, he can't go somewhere the father and, and walk in dishonor. That is not a father. When you have a father, you honor him. He said, when you give reference to your father, the kingdom that you are crying will come. And when that kingdom comes, nobody will ask you to do the will of God. That's what he said. The kingdom come. And the what? Verse 3 said, what? Don't go there. The first three said, what? Give, give us have, each day yes, our daily bread. bread. But that's the daily bread shows up when he's honored, when he's praised. The kingdom come, his will be done. Because you have test and see. This is the revelation of Jesus. This is why Jesus Christ could do many things nobody could do jesus came as a man not as a god if he came as god he can pray to god he came as a man so he can pray to god and he doesn't pray to him as god he prayed to him as a father and then he tried to teach disciples why his face changes why he get result all the time he said the reason why i get result all the time i approach him as my heavenly father and when I approach him, I have reverence for him. So that's why I say, I didn't came to do my will. 
And then when I have reverence, he said, the kingdom will come. And when the kingdom come, I can do his will. Does that make sense? I said, does that make sense? Look at what he said to them in the book of uh, Luke. Luke chapter, we are using Luke tonight. Luke chapter 12 verse 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, <laughs> for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Did you hear that? Little flock. <laughs> Do you know, I'm not a little frog. <laughs> Say, I'm not a little flock. Tell you know, I'm not a little flock. I'm not a little flock. <laughs> you see, John. <laughs> John said, Your problem is, is your what? Come on, talk to you. Pro not, we are talking to I'm, I'm preaching to you and you. We are all together in this business. Eh? What, what is the Bible saying to us? Do not be afraid. Who? Little flock. So when you don't know God as a father, you become what? A little flock. <laughs> One thing I love is the word. Because if I can know. What to do? I'm not gonna be little frog and then man, man, I don't wanna be like that. He said, Do not be afraid, little flock. For your father, not your God, your father is pleased, has been pleased to give you. Is there anyone here know the kingdom of God? I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about the kingdom. Can you split your two hands and catch that man revelation? No, no. Can you lift your two hands and take that grace? Can you receive it right now? I receive it. Can you receive it? Open up your mouth and receive it. Receive it. Say, I take it. I take it. By fire. By fire. By force. By force. Say, from today. From today. I am growing up. I am growing so up. So, no more little flock. No more little because flock. Because I don't want to flop. Yeah. He said, do not be afraid. Tell your neighbor, do not be afraid. Do not be no, afraid. No, no, look at your neighbor in the eyeball and say, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And then don't call him little flock. They are not little flock. They are, they are light of foundation. You see what he said here? Your father again. He said, the reason why you're afraid because you don't know him, I say, a father. And that's why you're a little, a little, a little flock. A little flock. He doesn't want to say what it is. You, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm. <laughs> see, see, you talk to them. So you are struggling to read the Bible, see? That's why we choose what to read and we choose what you don't read. Changing me, change me. We have come. We open up. That is. Change me. Hey! We are God. We are. The world change us. You say, your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Your father. God, uh, Paul, uh, John has to thank Lord for the throne of Jehovah and take this little flock that are worried, that are fearful. Say, hey, don't bother. Your father is pleased to give you his kingdom. The things you are crying, God is already pleased to give it to you. Know him as your father. Don't just wonder. Say, don't talk like that. Don't worry. He's pleased. Not because you are good. He's pleased because he gives it to you. God is not pleased because he do good things. God already pleased before he made a mistake. So now when you find out you know how to please him, you are not pleasing to make God pleased. God is already pleased because he gave birth to you. The day you are born again, you are God's kid. Tell you, nobody, you are gone for Jesus. So when you have this revelation, somebody say, I, I will stop you. Stop what? What are you? What are you do you stop we? Are you stopping a man? Jesus has become his father. So, it will stop Apostle of Fire, it will stop Jesus. <laughs> so, with that understanding, people will say stuff that doesn't know what it is. Amen. They are never, nobody can stop you. Nobody. No, look at them in their eyeballs. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop but you. But don't be a little flock. Alright? That's it. Hmm. 
Okay. Matthew chapter 26. I just want to give you scripture. We're going to be praying pray soon. Matthew 26 verse 53. Matthew 26 53. Yeah. Do you think that I cannot call on my father <laughs> and he will, he, will, he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? Did you hear that? Jesus was arrested. And Peter, you know Peter? Peter, if you go, if you go home, read it, I think, a uh, few verses back. Peter, when Jesus was arrested, Peter pulled a knife. You know Peter? <laughs> and Peter talking to, you know Peter, he pulled a sword and chopped somebody, chopped his ear. For chops to Jesus, I'm sorry, we don't eat ears. <laughs> Jesus put the ear back. Jesus said to Peter, if I want this to be done without you, he said, I can ask my father to give me legion. My father again. He said, the reason why I allow these people arrest me because I'm here for a purpose. He said, if it's not, I can command millions of angels to destroy these people without. He said, I don't need to touch them. I just now angels in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Right. Okay. <laughs> to me, Jesus doesn't listen there. Yeah. He command the angels to come. The angels will arrest everything without Jesus saying a word. Look at that. So he said, Peter, put your sword back. But one thing I want you to know, he said, I, I will call what? My father. My father again. <laughs> now, he wasn't saying God is angry with him. He will call his father. Somebody say fatherhood. Fatherhood. Are you learning tonight? As, are you learning? Yes. Okay, let's, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one, and then begin to close. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go to James. James 1.17. Please, because of time. James 1.17, please. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Who? who? Coming from where? The Somebody said from the Father. Father again. Every good thing you need come from who? Is that God? Yes. Is that Elohim? Yes. But only way things can happen very fast when you know him as your heavenly Father. And every good and perfect gift come from our heavenly Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. John chapter 14, verse 2. My father's house has many rooms. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. In my father's house, there is many rooms. Jesus' father's house, there's many rooms. Rooms in my father's house. So the father of Jesus has become our father. So I can say in my father's house there is many rooms. Tell anybody, do you have a room? Do you have a room? Now we're talking about a room of what? That's a room for joy. That is a room for peace. That is a room for prosperity. That is a room for salvation. In my father's house, there is many rooms. Ask anybody, which room do you want to enter tonight? Which room do you want to enter tonight? Hey! I don't know what kind of room you want to enter tonight. But I have a room I have to enter. And Jesus said, in my father's house, there is many rooms or many mansions. Lift your two hands. You need a room tonight. Some of you have a, you need a room for joy. You need a room for unforgiveness. Come on, come on, open up your mouth. You need a room for joy. You need a room for unforgiveness. You need a room. But in the Father, in the Father, in the Father, He has to let the past go. He has, I'm preaching now. He, can you let the preach? Can you let the message penetrate you and neutralize every voice of doubt, every voice of unbelief? Because in my Father's house, there is many rooms in my father's house. In my father's house. The last place we begin to pray. I love Jesus. Somebody they love Jesus. Lift your two hands tonight and begin to talk to him. Zatabra Hushiti. Know him as your heavenly father. La bando Le bendora baba baba baba. Malabo kumbra gaske beberi ara. Listen, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, mom, daddy. If you go to the fitness house, I don't I've been, I haven't been there. If you go to the place where they do fitness and step inside the house one year, two years, 
He said, Mozu, come, Mozu, come. Three years, Mozu, come. Five years, Mozu, <laughs> like Mozu. What can I come is mushroom? Somebody will step in there the next week. You will not scream muzzle. You just use the iron. And sometimes they are tired. And they are here. You say, I don't want to do this. I don't have time. Mozu, come here. Mozu. So I've been here more than 50 years. I'm not going to change anything unless you take the iron. One kilo, two kilo, ten kilo. Five kilo. Sometimes when you do, you're sweating, you're sweating, you're sweating, you're sweating, you're sweating. And sometimes he puffed, he drinks some water. And sometimes people have some break, they come back to him. And then they have some glucose, they have some food to go with it to make sure they have a nice fitness. Because they do all those things, they have some uh, uh, materials they eat, right? Some of food to help them. To do it effective and giving you the materials tonight so he can help you to do your gymnastic. No, 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 no. This is Christianity Fitness House. If you don't do it, you can scream at your father, but he has made the ions available, he has made the facility available, he has made the glucose available, he has made the food need, all the ingredients available. All you have to do is to put it in your mouth and have patience, the muzzle will come out. Yeah, but it's coming out tonight. <laughs> Just a tiny, a tiny, a tiny, <laughs> like this one. It's coming a tiny, a tiny, and then before you know, you say, whoa! <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, yeah, instead of, you know, some of you, when you, when you have, and then, yeah, instead of putting a clothes that cover you, you try to show it when you are coming. And then, uh, the, somebody says, Wow! <laughs> But tell them, you don't need to show Jesus. You don't need to show that you're anointed. You can, any, everybody will show you. Everybody will see it. When you're anointed, everybody will see it. When the muzzle comes out. And I believe tonight is coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last place before the last. Finally, Paul is saying, but finally he read the whole Bible again. Okay. Finally. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father. When you pray, when, you see when, not if you pray, because prayer is necessity. He said, when you pray, go into your room, into your room, close the door behind you. Close the door of doubt. Close the door of unbelief. Close the door, everything you know before you became a born again. Close it off. If you don't close the door, you can know that your heavenly father is in the room. And pray to your father. But before you pray to your father, make sure you close the door. Lift your two hands. Tonight, we are here to close the door of unbelief. Amen. The door of rejection. Amen. Lift your two hands. Some of us, the reason why you are not seeing what God tried to do in your life because you allow what you've been through to change the way you see God. You allow the things people say or what you know about church, what you know about everybody to cause you not to see. Unless those door is closed, you may not see your heavenly Father provision. But tonight, that's why we are here. You just want to love him. You just want to worship him. Lift your two hands. Say, Lord, tonight, bring those things up. Open up your mind. Praise and worship him. Open up your mind. Dear, at the moment, I just worship in the spirit. Come on. Everybody, open up your mind. I love Jesus. Don't you hear me in the name of the spirit. Come on. Don't, don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Don't close. Because we are about to silence every door of fear. Every door of rejection. Every door of fear. 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 Every door of fear
You have to let those doors close. I don't know which door that had been open for a long time. But God is telling us tonight. It's time to close the door. It's time to close the door. He wants to meet you. 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 He wants an encounter. But the encounter can happen unless the door is closed. Before the door is closed. Somebody open up their mouth. Close those doors tonight. Get serious. Get serious. Get serious. I want to be in that confession today. Say, Lord, I have found that you are my heavenly father. And I'm willing to close the doors of that. I'm willing to close the doors of that. E bandere azosa bragaske beberi arabaha la kanda yo beberi arabaha ya azosa bragaske beberi arabaha if you're watching tonight i don't know what happened to me you maybe you feel maybe rejection maybe regret maybe somebody left you maybe somebody betrayed you maybe somebody loves you maybe this happened and tonight you are not just to affect your relationship with god tonight god is calling you to close the door to close the door, to close the door because he wants to meet you again 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 Langa la mandola maso se be 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 he ya. La bonde ri ra kuya praga ida bere kasi ya zabo sha bere bahaya. Ezo se brege de ida noria to bere geri ya ra bahaya. Ezo sa broka bere vanto. Sha pa 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 la gada 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 bode bere be be ri ya ra bahaya. You have to let go. Let go your past. Ezo se se brege di ya da da ri ya ra bahaya. Whatever has been stopping you tonight, we are closing the door. We are closing the door. The door has been closed because as you pray to Him, when the door is closed. Ezo za zo za broka veri veri ya raba na kadeke de 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 Agua dere ya tobere ya taga 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 da bo de bere bere ke de bere 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 ya de bere ya de bere ya raha. Masa braka zeto pavari ya na be ya tengo tere maya ya braka ya na ba 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 ba. What a beautiful name it is. Then come on, let's go. That's the name. That's the name. Come on. 